But yeah, very interesting. I love this uh, 9.3. 9.3. Next thing they got for you guys is from our subscriber, Jess Song Nightwish. Oh, boy. Full disclosure, Nightwish. Nightwish. Yeah, I think it's, J- I think it's Jason G. <laughs> He's coming at all the trolls tonight. <laughs> Jason G, Nightwish. I'm uh, I'm not as sophisticated as you. Nightwish fans are very sophisticated. So, <laughs> I'm not that sophisticated. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm drunk. Don't be sorry. It's okay. We love you. So, Just so don't. I, I believe that you said something about this being on an Irish um, oh, playlist. playlist. Oh, this and is they, on my Celtic they Irish suggested, playlist. And they suggested this song. They thought that this was the song that would have been on there. Okay, I want my tears back live. I'm not sure. This is a live rendition, though. I love Nightwish, but once again, a big popular band that I love comes with trolls who mm-hmm. manipulate my poor little heart. They don't even love themselves. <laughs> of course they don't love you. Freaking they don't, haters. but they, they, they <laughs> scorn scars on my pulmonary veins. <laughs> Let's do it. I like it. This isn't the one. This is not the one. I'll find out which one it is.
they had, they had the mini bagpipes. They had the Irish vibe. Are they Irish? I thought they were like Vikings or some fucking weird shit. Oh. I thought they were, I thought they were like fucking Nordic, six foot eight, big hairy balls. You know, like uh, swords. <laughs> I mean, uh, Vikings armor are all, are all up in there. Yeah. Well, Viking Vikings got big hogs, bro. They're they're serious. They are serious. They they used to just go like and bacon. fucking pillage. They used to just pillage villages. Like they would fucking ruin everybody in the entire village. And Nightwish has that real Viking vibe where they're like the girls are witches and the guys are savages, you know? I'm scared of them. Like they're scary. They're scary. I'm just gonna admit it. I'm just kinda scared. Like I watched that, I'm like, I'm scared of you guys. Um, <laughs> um I checked on my Spotify playlist. Mm-hmm. While we're there, while we're <laughs> live resin, it's, yeah, live resin. I gotta get on the live resin. Uh, <laughs> while we're listening to that, I checked my Spotify playlist, and this is the song that is on that. It's called Celtic Punk Rock, and it's okay. the best playlist ever. It's got like, like Dropkick Murphys and Rum Jacks and Floggy Molly and Floggy Molly is awesome. Um, a whole bunch of wicked bands, and these guys. I listen. I listen to Nightwish regularly. This song, I play that at least uh, out of the four days we're open a week. I probably play this song once on one of the days. Nice. You know, the, so once a week I listen to this song. Um, I get to give it a nine point seven. I mean, dude, the production is real Irish. I'm not sure if they're Irish. I can't. I, I there's no way to really there may tell. Be some Irish people it, in that. It band. might. Yeah, there could be, but it might just be like an ode <laughs> to my to my people. Mm-hmm. O'Neill from Cork. I'm an O'Neill from Cork. Tati tati tattoo tati tattoo tati. Uh, Nightwish, I love you. Uh, fantastic tune. Um, yeah, nine point seven. Chelsea, what do you say? Yeah, I was leaning towards a nine, but the uh, bagpipe solo that just rocked. <laughs> yeah, um, it was a mini bag. It, to a 9. it 5 was a me. mini electric bagpipe too. It wasn't a full set of bagpipes. It was dope. Uh, yeah, it was. You yeah, all those bands you mentioned, they've utilized the bagpipes, but yeah, not quite to almost a metal kind of vibe yeah. as that was. That was witches. Very fun. She's a witch. She's a witch. <laughs> nine point five. Yeah, I feel like they already kind of blend the uh, genres, and then they're bringing in like another genre, and it's and it, it. This is my favorite. This is my favorite Nightwish song so far, by far. <coughs> Mine too, by um, a landslide. By a landslide. Yeah, I and, and it's just so nice it's, it's how they blend stuff. Like it's just so crazy to me. Yeah. How good it sounds. It, and, and 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 still staying true to both of the sounds. Yeah. Uh for me that's a 9.5 all day long. Yeah. Like being different but doing I two, listen di- to that two again. or three different things at the same time. Yeah. It's yeah. Blending she genres. It with the vocals it's so song. crazy how how well they are at blending. But it's not genres. just some kind of like mashup. It's like a genre they've created. It's like it's like a it's a they do it through a symphony like almost. They have so many instruments. Yeah, they yeah. Can just hit so many areas. You know? <coughs> Fucking hardcore. It's I figured what I was gonna say. I was gonna say something real good, but I'm sure the Nightwish fans are gonna lace me up for this one. <laughs> My bad. Um, next one they got, you, guys, is from J Mac. Uh, J Mac is obviously amazing. Because this is Beastie Boys' Flute Lou. 